coming in. And if you're the if you're the head service facilitator or the lead facilitator, this is primarily your responsibility is meeting and greeting. And this happens um, <clears throat> after you have your facilitator. Yeah, we'll get to that later. But this happens after you have your facilitator brief, after you've talked to all your facilitators, after you've set up the course, everything's ready to go you are gonna come out here and meet and greet the group. So we're kind of jumping around, so just kind of keep that in your head. Um, when you meet and greet the group, um, this is where it happens. Eye contact is super important. And uh, duh, 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 duh. in that first 10 minutes, the group is kind of making up their mind about how much they trust you and how the day's gonna go. Like they get a real sense of, of who you are in that first 10 minutes. First impression is really important. Um, and like I said, please don't wear shades so people can see, look you in the eye. And 80% of communication is nonverbal, so your body language and how you present yourself. 90%. Is it 90%? Wow, see, even more. 90% of communication is nonverbal, so how you present yourself, how you stand, how you look them in the eye is super important to think about when you're meeting and greeting the group. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of them have been traveling a long ways, so they're going to want to um, use the bathroom. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Instead of just come, come, coming at them, coming at them right away and just downloading with a bunch of information for like a half hour, and they just, they're just they not going to hear you because they need to use the bathroom. So be Okay, guys, this is where the bathrooms are. There's one over by, usually, if it's the summertime, the horse area maintenance building. There's one in the office. Um, and then also be like, hey, guys, get hydrated while I talk to the group leader here. The water, show them where the water is. There's water in the office. And um, I'll show you guys over there. And so five reasons to drink water. We've been talking a lot about this. Um, eight ounces an hour is ideal. If you drink a whole bunch like at once and say that's good for the day, it's not. You want to kind of continually drink water throughout the day. And here are the five reasons. Um, happy power. Being grumpy can be a way of our body telling us we need more water. So if you're grumpy or you're thirsty or whatever, it's kind of too late. You're already dehydrated. So it's like, okay, time to drink water. And if you're fatigued too. Um, if you have water in you, you're going to be less grumpy, less fatigued. Brain power. You can problem solve and get work done faster. If you have water going, it like, it like uh, what's the word, oils the brain or... Hydrate. Lubricates. Hi lubricates the brain and gets it going, working better. Body power, your energy level, uh, and your athletic ability significantly improves. Um, and it also regulates our temperature, so it keeps us cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. And vanity, the, a lot of people get motivated by this. Um, healthy looking skin, and it turns fat into muscle. In a kind of a long way, but. So, if you're the head, head lead service facilitator, you want to definitely do all these things. Collect all the par participant responsibility and release and liability forms, so all the permission slips from the group leader. Ask about any special considerations for the day. Double check departure time and schedule lunch accordingly. It's very important to know um, when they want to get out, out of here. So it's five, it's like, okay, well I need to split the day in half, so we're gonna do lunch at whatever that half is from when they've arrived. Um, Ask if there's any special way they want to split the group, if applicable. So sometimes they have come beforehand and they've given, they've already predestined who's going to be in what group. Or you can just divide the group how you want to divide the group. Um, and also keep in mind that the participants must be 12 years of age or at least five feet tall. So if like an extra uh, parents bring their kids and they want to go up on the course and they're under 12 or under five feet tall, five feet tall, use your best judgment, but under 12 definitely can't go in the high course. So, cool? All right, let's go.